In one second can you appreciate the name of the Lord? In one second can you bless his name? In one second can you exalt him? In one second can you bless his holy name? Our God is mighty and powerful. Our God is awesome. Modupe Oluwa Memoni Olati Masaba Ade Yemin Dupe Modupe Oluwa Wipe Moni Olati Maforolo Ope Lope Re Come on Aye Ibati Keru Misigo Everybody Open up, I
angels worship They are bowing down before Somebody in the house, look at your neighbor and say, Never me, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Bara mi mako Iwani o Anu mano soro Bara mi mako Hallelujah! It is time to do a little exercise. Can you do like this? Hey, 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 from me. He has done great and mighty things in your life. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. You, Lord, you are worthy and no one can worship you for me. That's the testimony that you have this morning. For all the things you've done for me. My God, and no one can worship you for me. He's my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. My God, my God. All of my worship. your voice and say father we thank you for such a day like this it's another day that we thank you we appreciate you we give you praise we give you honor we give you adoration worship and adore him he is king of kings and lord of lord he is the alpha and the omega he is the beginning and the end he is the ross of sharon he is mighty in his ways in jesus glorious wonderful name we have prayed 
praise the name of the Lord. Please, if you, you have your testimony, you want to give your testimony physically, there is a minister at the reception, meet him and then drop your testimony there. And then you want to give it through our online platform, please media di display the link for us. And then you want to give it, you, you write your testimony, just back on any of the ushers around you and then give it to them. And then at the time appropriate, you'll be called for it. The Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. And then in continuation of the prayer, you're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare in this service, do what only you can do. Open your mouth and pray. In this service, I decree and declare, do what only you can do. In such a time like this, the Bible said the earnest expectation of the creatures uh, waited for the manifestation uh, of the sons of God uh, in this service. Uh, do what only you can do uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Finally, you say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in today's service, uh, move in your power, move in your glory, move in your anointing. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in today's service, uh, we command, we decree uh, that you move in your power, you move in your glory. In the name of Jesus, uh, in Jesus' glorious, wonderful name, we are praying. We therefore declare the service open in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son. And in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. Put those hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may just do well and take your seat in the presence of the Lord. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you are giving that to my God, you will shout louder. Praise the Lord. It's testimony time. Let's be sure. It's testimony time. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to bless the name of God for removing the chains and shackles on my children. Above all, thank you for joining mercy. You have granted my son to the U.S. May God's name be always praised forever in my family, in Jesus' name. This testifier does not have a name, but we thank God for his or her life, and I pray that this testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. This is from Sister Dennis. Good morning, church. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and for all what he has been doing for me in my academics. God always makes a way where there seems to be no way. I thank God for the success in all my examinations and for helping me to gain admission into the university. God has been faithful towards me. I also thank God for raising a divine helper for the payment of my school fees. May his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. I also want to thank our pastor for his kindness and love towards me and my family. Church, please help me shout a thunderous hallelujah. Praise the Lord! May his name forever be praised in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the living Jesus. This testifier is named Elias Uwocho. Pardon me. I want to testify to the glory of God. I traveled home last year, December, for my marriage. And just on the ninth of this month, the Lord blessed us with a bouncing baby born. Without any complication. Praise the Lord. Secondly, the Lord healed me from a chronic sickness, which would have killed me. The Lord has helped me to have my own land within my state in Benue. Lastly, I traveled last two weeks for a job in my state, and I got all my original credentials missed when, traveling to, when trying to sort them. After the exam, I realized that my credentials are not in my bag, and I started looking for it in the midst of the crowd, and the Lord helped me. And I found everything completely. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, church. This testifier is named Sister KC. I'm here this morning to give praise to God for seeing me through the major surgery I had last month. I also want to thank God for this body of Christ, Mananta. Thank you to Pastor Kendi Bremer for all the prayers before the surgery. Pastor prayed and said I should go for it, that it will be successful. And it will be success, and it was successful. God bless you, sir. I came out strong from the theater, even when the doctor asked me to get four pints of blood. At the end, no blood. But we thank God. Blood was infused in me. The doctor said I was not feeling weak nor fainting. I also want to thank Sister Lua Kemi, who has been there from the beginning to the healing process. God bless you, my Lima. Thank you, Brother Komolafe, who has been following up for my recovery. God bless you. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we have um, the following here that will be giving their testimony life. Bro Austin Emeka and Bro Stanley Gifts. Praise the Lord. Please let's give the Lord God a round of applause as they come forward. Praise the Lord. Um, to the glory of God, my name is Ora Emeka Austin. Now in this testimony, I actually shared this testimony in a different church and I shared it wrongly. Um, so when I got the right information, I really have to share the testimony rightly. What happened was I was in the wrong location and at the wrong time, and I was doing the wrong thing. Now, the wrong thing I did was I actually drank, and I drank excess. And at that moment, it got to a point I slumped, and I, I don't know, but they said I did not faint because... They poured me water, they poured me water to the extent everybody around that location was about to run. They felt I died. But to the glory of God, after the first pick me came to my mouth, I came back alive. My properties were robbed, but that is not a big deal. The fact that I am alive to share this testimony Praise to the God. glory of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do we have brother Stanley Gifts here? Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I want to thank God, first of all, for mommy. You no, know, your message has been a, let me call it, advice for me personally. It's not just a message, okay? And I still want to thank God because of my boy, a boy that is working under me in my automobile uh, workshop. So this boy came not long ago. The parents said I should teach him the work. So there was a day I wasn't working. So a colleague of mine came to me and asked me that, let my boy work under him. I said, OK, since I'm not working, he should go. So they left. What Annoying to me that the car they were working on nearly fell on top of my boy. Like, I did not even get the information. It was about. Few weeks ago, they begin to tell me about this. I was very angry with him, like something like this happened that he did not even tell me about it. But I just want to give God praises because assuming the car fell on top of him, the parents would have hold me responsible. Like how will I even explain that the boy left home and get to my workshop and died or car fell on top of him and he was injured. I just want to say, God, thank you for you have been the one saving me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we have um, Brother Abimbola Guntari and Sister Chibuzo, I would quickly take the online testimony. I want to thank God for, okay, this is from Osi, Osi Gwellum. I want to thank God for the salvation of my, of my soul and the salvation of my family too as well. How God kept being both father and mother to I and my siblings. Also, in a very special way, I want to thank God for sparing my life and the successful surgery in taking out a tumor. 
I also want to thank God for my successful journey to the NYC orientation camp and allowing me to settle with ease and giving me a great place of primary assignment. Praise the Lord. Do you have sister, brother, Bimbola here? Sorry. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm just going to yeah. summarize my testimony. Uh, so on earlier this week, we had a major um, maintenance at work, like a service upgrade that affected most of our customers. And, you know, we had to stay back at work, especially on Tuesday. <laughs> we had to stay back at work, especially on Tuesday. And, I mean, I left the, work, I left the office very late. I'm talking of around 1 a.m. So I got to... Um, Ballet bus stop, because my colleague dropped me. My car wasn't available at that time. So my colleague dropped me at ballet bus stop, and I was just to walk maybe about 30 meters to my house. So as I was walking, I just saw a van, Korokwe bus, just cornered me, and I got scared. I mean, about, before I knew it, five guys came out, and they were seeming to me like kidnappers, you know. So I tried to, you know, you know r run, and in the process, I broke my phone. But unfortunately, they caught up with me, and only for me to, for them to carry me into the minivan and I discovered they were police officers. And I told, I told these people, I'm just coming back from work. I had my ID, I identified them myself, and I was explaining to them that, I mean, there was a major issue and I had to stay back from work, but these guys did not listen. And, you know, they rushed me down, they carried me, and I think this, there was one other person along the way that they carried, and there were two guys that I met inside the van, and they, all, they rushed us, all of us to the police station. And I kept explaining to them, I mean, I've been out since morning, and it's going to be very unfair for you to just pick me up like this. I could call my seconds, superiors sir. for you to talk to them. But uh, it all fell on deaf ears, and I if that was not bad enough. They just took all of us, took my phone, took everything, and then opened a cell and put all of us in the cell. Ten seconds, sir. All right. So I just want to give God the, um, the glory because... I mean, I was sharp enough to immediately text my wife when they picked me up, and the next morning, because it was very late, early in the morning, she was able to come around, make some contacts, and we were able to get the contact of a DCP who ordered my release. I just want to give God the glory because, I mean, I did not have to stay there for long. <laughs> Unlike the other people who, I mean, nobody even knows where they are. Huh. I just want to give God all the praise. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. Amen. <laughs> Sister Chibuzo. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to thank the name of the Lord because um, 22nd of August, I was lying down in an hospital bed. They just had fibroid come out of me, very big, and I felt I was going to die. Mommy, thank you. Daddy, thank you. They came, they prayed for me, and here I am today. Hallelujah. During the worship service, I was dancing, and I was like, is this me? I don't think I'm, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy, but I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is from Mrs. Borse. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. Secondly, I want to thank God for helping us to pay our house rent, raising divine helpers to help us. I really appreciate God for his mercy and love upon us for doing this for us. We as a family, we are very grateful. Thank you, Jesus. And lastly, this is from Sister Queen. Good morning, church. I want to thank God for the gift of life and giving me a second chance. I almost lost my life, but thank you, Jesus. Please let us rise, church, together. And first, let us thank God for this testimony that he has given us the privilege to be able to testify to the goodness of God and not the other way around. We are not mourning, we are not shedding tears, but yet he has, he has given us the, the grace that all glory and all adoration returns to him. We say be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we thank you for every of the testifiers this morning. We say be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that these testimonies, they are covered with the blood of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus that even as you have given more to your church, we pray that even for the next service, we have more testimonies in the church in the name of Jesus. Father, come and reign and rule in Jesus' name. Thank you, Shant, of this. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please do well to have your seat. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the living Jesus. So it's time for Sunday school summary. For some of us have attended Sunday school summary, I mean Sunday school class today, or classes, uh, just to run through the summary quickly. So in the adult class, um, we have the topic is the power of forgiveness. Um, and then um, memory verse was taken from Colossians 3.13, which says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. I mean, we won't dwell much into that, but I think those are some of the cogent you know, points here. And then introduction talks about the fact that if you choose not to forgive your brothers and sisters, then God also in heaven will not forgive you. And I don't know any other thing that could be more than what Jesus Christ did, because Jesus Christ did not sin. I'm sure we all know. But he came to this world, you know, to come and, you know, take, you know, the pain of your sins and my sins. And at the same time, he's telling you now to forgive. So you can see the reason why the Bible says, if you do not forgive, then Father in heaven will not forgive you either. So two outlines, reasons for why Christians should forgive. I will, and then ach achieving true forgiveness. I will employ all of us. If you have a manual, when you get back home, please, it's very important for us to go and read these things. You know, it's very, very, very important. Then conclusion says, true forgiveness may not come cheap, but it is, its benefit outweighs the pain. Learn to forgive. This is the Bible telling us that we should learn to forgive. I know that it might be a bit tough, but at least we should learn to forgive. And in the higher space, the topic is redemption package. Actually, this is also applicable to all of us, whether you are Yaya or you are adult or you are elder. Redemption package. Memory verse was taken from 2 Peter 1 3 and it says, According as his div divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. 2 Peter 1 3. And Bible passage was taken from 3 John 2 to 4. We are not going to read that. But we're going to, I think we'll read the introduction. It says, after we surrendered our life to Jesus, he gave us our redemption package. Inside this package is everything that will make life enjoyable. Meaning that inside the redemption package, we have everything. Praise the Lord. These things make Christianity delightful and beautiful. It is therefore expedient that we unfold our redemption package to enjoy its benefits. So this is also of us that have not embraced salvation. I want to see what is inside this package. Praise the Lord. This is a package that's been delivered you know, to you by God. And it is important that you be eager to know what is inside the package. Now there are two lessons. Reason for enjoying the redemption package. And then Second one is unfolding the redemption package. Now, first outline. Certain factors may be attributed to the inability of a Christian to enjoy the benefit of redemption. This is telling us why some of us are really not enjoying. We have opened it, we have unfolded it, but then we are not enjoying it. First is ignorance. It's one of them. John 8, 32. You shall know the truth and the truth shall shut you free. Then... Roman figure one says that these benefits are written all over the pages of the Bible. So meaning that if you are not studying your Bible, you are denying yourself these opportunities and the benefit. We must search them out to know them. What you don't read, you can't understand. What you don't go through, there's no way you will know what is inside. The third lady, until we discover them, we cannot enjoy them, Isaiah 5.13. And then the second factor is Another reason is some Christians have been wrongly taught to be content with their present state, where some of us have been brainwashed that, look, once you are saved, don't bother. That salvation is enough for you. You don't need to be rich. You don't need to be, you know, having good life. So sometimes you hear them say, thank God I'm saved. At least I'm going to heaven. You can go to heaven as a billionaire. That's what we're trying to say. Some Christians may decide to live and die like Lazarus, sick, afflicted. That will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not be content with your present state. If it's not pleasant, ask God to change your present condition. Then second outline, unfolding the package. You are now opening the pa package now. So some of the things that accompany salvation can be broadly categorized. 
what can you find or what are you going to find inside that package? First is deliverance. Deliverance from causes and evil, deliverance from the spirit of hell, deliverance from demonic oppressions, deliverance from the wrath of God. And then the second you know, thing that you benefit from that package is victory. This means triumphing, dominating. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. In the victory package is victory over. You know, then victory over sin, victory over sickness, victory over disease. Meaning that once you embrace this package, you are free from sin, you are free from sickness. Then last point, prosperity. Abundant provisions have been made for us. However, that is in 2 Corinthians 8 9 because Jesus Christ was very rich, but then he came to this one poor so that we can become rich. However, some Christians are suffering not because they are saved. They are not saved, but because they are not meeting the conditions of the covenant of prosperity, which are sowing, giving, tithing. 2 Corinthians 9 6, meaning that some of us are suffering. We are not benefiting this because we are not fulfilling our own bargain. Praise the Lord. We are not fulfilling our own part of the contract. And in conclusion, it says, if we as Christians look mournful and sickly, it may be that we have not been claiming our redemption benefit. We must claim our redemption package. It is our covenant right. I pray that the Lord God will give unto us that grace to claim that right in the mighty name of Jesus. Quiet, over to you for your administration. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Please, let's do well to rise up on our feet. It's time for congregational hymn. Our hymn is taken from the hymn, hymn 43. Oh God, I help in ages past. Please, you'll be taking hymn 1, 3, and 6. Choir.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of our God. I know that many of us have not mastered the new national anthem. You may please do well to master it. Hallelujah. Nigeria will go well in the name of Jesus. I said Nigeria will go well in the name of Jesus. Let me start by appreciating our dear pastor. We fondly call him PKB for the opportunity that he has given unto youth to celebrate our youth service today. And at this time, I mean, you know, before now, we were usually allowed to only do first service. But thank God that this time around, at least this is the first time that I can recollect that we have been given this opportunity. We do not take this for granted and we want to say PKB, we are grateful. You know, now that we have thanked Pastor, we know that in the coming period, he will give us more opportunities. Hallelujah. If you are youth in the house, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are youth at heart, shout a greater hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of our God. You know, the youth of possibilities this month has decided to dedicate this month to Nigeria and to reflect on our dear nation. There are many challenges that we face. Challenges of rising cost of living, high unemployment rates, so many issues. But we know that in the midst of these challenges, we are confident that Nigeria will rise again. Yeah. If you believe it, shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of our God. Father Lord, we thank you for today. We appreciate and honor your holy name. Thank you for the opportunity to learn at your feet. We ask, oh God, that Lord, you will speak your word to our hearts in the name of Jesus. As we meditate on our great nation, we ask that Lord, you will provide a way forward for us in the name of Jesus. Turn around our captivity and change our situation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the name of our God. By the grace of God this morning, I have a very short time to speak to us. But we'll still be talking about a topic, Nigeria will rise again. I want you to help me tell your neighbor, Nigeria will rise again. When God was promising Abraham, he told him, he said, I will make you a great nation. God cares about nationhood. He cares about Nigeria. And I know that he will make Nigeria great again in the name of Jesus. Because I have a very short time to speak to us. We are going to be talking about three major things that we need to do in order for Nigeria to advance. In order for Nigeria to go well. Let's quickly turn our Bibles to the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah chapter 1. You may have to run after me. Nehemiah chapter 1. We'll read from verse 3 to verse 4. And the Bible says, Nehemiah 1, 3 to 4. The Bible says, And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. We are confident that the Lord will change our story in the name of Jesus. There are three things we need to do for Nigeria to go well. 
The first one is that you need to say well. Help me tell your neighbor, say well. And you know we cannot overemphasize this thing. The book of Psalm chapter 122 verse 6 to 8. Media please help us. Psalm 122 verse 6 to 8. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jer Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Media please give us 7 and 8 together. Church I want us to rise and take this one together. Verse 7 and 8. Please forgive me. Let's, let's quickly take it together. Let's say it together at once. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now do what? Say, peace be within thee. Let's take it once again. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, peace be within thee. You know, you may please be seated. You know, a lot of times, if you read that, if you read another version of scripture, he says that, you know, some of us may not be familiar with brethren. He says, for the sake of my friends and family, for your sake and your children's sake, say well about Nigeria. And Nigeria will go well. If Nigeria will take its pride of place, we must start saying the right things. I know that a lot of people will say that this person has come again to come and motivate us. This is not about motivation. It is about the word of God. As long as we make up our minds that going forward we will say great and good things about Nigeria. Nigeria will begin to experience a change. And I pray for somebody this morning, you will see it in the name of Jesus. You will not only see it, you will eat out of it in the name of Jesus. As Nigeria rises again, your destiny will advance like never before in the name of Jesus. The second thing you need to do is that you need to act well. Help me tell your neighbor, you need to act well. Tell, tell another person, say, act well. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. It says, therefore, all things whatsoever, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. You know, one man once said, Emmanuel Kant, he said that, act as though your every action were to become a universal law. As a nation, as Christians, we must act as though everything we do every passing day must be something that if everybody should do it, are we going to be comfortable in a nation that we create for ourselves? You know, some of the things we do, we don't want other people to do it to us. Because we feel that those things are painful, but yet we keep doing it. I pray for you this morning, as you make up your mind to stop doing those things that are giving other people discomfort. Those things that are bringing discomfort to Nigeria as a nation. That God will change your story in the name of Jesus. Because whether you believe it or not, Nigeria will change. And Nigeria will advance. If you believe me, shout hallelujah. So I want you to act, to always act in the best interest of Nigeria. And the third point, which is where I would dwell a lot on. Help me tell your neighbor, think well. If Nigeria must go well, we must make up our minds to make some paradigm shifts in our thinking. And there are four things that I want us to consider today. There are four things I want us to meditate on that think well. The first thing is that a new Nigeria is possible. I want you to help me tell your neighbor, a new Nigeria is possible. Help me tell another person, a new Nigeria is possible. Why did I say so? Scripture says in Psalm 30 verse 5 that weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I say to Nigeria this morning, on the altar of God, that Nigeria will prosper again in the name of Jesus. You need to have that possibility mindset. You need to believe that a new Nigeria is possible and it will happen in our time in the name of Jesus. No matter how difficult it is, it will happen. And once again, I say, I will experience it, and you will experience it in the name of Jesus. I said, I will experience it, and you will experience it in the name of Jesus. The second thing I want you to note is that you are not inferior to anyone. Help me tell your neighbor, I am not inferior to anyone. Help me tell your neighbor once again, I am not inferior to anyone. I am not inferior to any man of any tribe. 
I'm not inferior to any man of any, any color. It doesn't have to be white to be right. Bishop Oedepo said something. He said when they were building the Covenant, I think Covenant University, he said they made up their mind that there will be no technical assistance, no foreign technical assistance, and they built it. Nigerians are great, and Nigerians can do a lot. will bring who are those people that will bring the next technological solutions to the world who are those people i don't know if you're in the house today when i was growing up there was a guy in my class i can never forget his name my mom is here she can bear me witness i always mention his name kunliadeye god bless him his hair will be hearing every time my mom will say each time i finish school each time we finish the exam, I will most likely come second or third. And every point in time, I got a knock on my head. My dad will say, who, who, who took first position? I will say, Kunli Adeyeye. He will say, how many heads does Kunli Adeyeye have? I will say, one. Nobody else has two heads. Zach Zuckerberg does not have two heads. Elon Musk does not have two heads. Maranatha arise. Use of possibility arise and fulfill your destiny. There's something God has called you into, but you are not taken very seriously. You need to believe in yourself. God created you to make inventions. God created you to solve problems. Imagine the world without Google Map. Imagine the world without Zoom. But who are those people that will create the next generation of technological solutions? Who are those people? A lot of times we have allowed our self-limiting thoughts to put us behind. We think that we cannot do it. We think that those things around us have limited us. Why not make up your mind to change your story? Why not make up your mind to ensure that when you are telling us your story, you will tell us the obstacles you faced in order to solve that problem. May the Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus. The second point is that you have a role to play if Nigeria will be great. I want you to help me tell your neighbor, you have a role to play if Nigeria will be great. John F. Kennedy once said something, the former president of the United States. He said, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask yourself what you can do for your country. A lot of times, the reason why we have not made advancements as individuals, as a nation, is because we are only looking up to our leaders. We are only saying, if they don't do anything, nothing works. I have made up mind, whether they do anything or not, I'm going to play my part. I'm going to contribute my part to ensure that we change the, the nation. Ask what you, you can do for your nation. There's something you can do. In the early 90s, a great man looked at the problem the New York City was facing. They were using carts. I'm not talking about 18th century. I'm not talking about 17th century. They were using carts, and that had a lot of problems. Because all this manual was everywhere. And a man looked around and said, because very few people had cars at that particular point in time. A man looked at New York City and he said, a man, not a nation, not the leaders. A man looked at the nation and said that there is something I can do about it. I can create a car that is easy to fix. I can create a car that is affordable. That gave birth to the first assembly, to the first car assembly plant in America. That man was called Henry Ford. He had a dream and that dream produced the Ford car that was affordable to a lot of Americans. I want you to help me ask your neighbor, what are you going to create for Nigeria? 
What problem are you going to solve for Nigeria? If you say that is America, how about Ratatata? He just died recently. He had a dream of producing a car for Indians, a car that will solve problems for them. He saw millions of, of Indians that could not afford cars. He saw them being drenched by rain, and he made up his mind that he was going to produce an affordable car for them. And he produced a nano Tata, which a lot of Indians were able to buy. Millions of people were able to buy. That was what an individual can do. I see God raising an army of people that would do things that would change the course of their country in the name of Jesus. And that person is you in the name of Jesus. The third thing I want to say to you is that you need to have a dream. And that dream, I say to you, Maranatha, youth of possibility. And I to you, Maranatha, as a whole, that dream must be such that inspire other people. That dream must be such that is more than you. Stop having dreams about yourself alone. All this, what I will eat, what my children will eat, is enough. You need to think national. You need to think global. You need to think about something that solves a general problem. I like the way John Quincy Adams put it. He said, if your actions inspire others to do more, to dream more, then you are a leader. I see God raising people this morning that will ins that whose actions will inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and to become more in the name of Jesus. That person will be you in the name of Jesus. Just recently, in 1975, two young men, Bill Gates and Allen, envisioned a world where computers will be affordable, where everybody will be able to have computers, and they set out to work. And today, they are the reason why some of us have computers. I'm sure in some of your cars, you have laptops today. Because some people sat down and they decided to do something about those problems. I want you to help me ask your neighbor this morning. Say, neighbor, what are you going to do about Nigeria's problems? What are you going to do about Nigeria's problems? Are you going to keep complaining? Are you going to keep saying that... Nigeria is not doing well. Are you going to keep saying that inflation, that there is unemployment? Are you going to solve problems? Are you going to change the story of Nigeria? Yet just yesterday, I, I watched a video of a Nigerian exporting things abroad. And you know, I told my wife something day before yesterday. I said that, you know, if you add so much exposure to dollars, as people are complaining now, you'll be smiling. We'll talk about that some other time. But the Lord will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. People of God, I say to you this morning, if Nigeria must take its place in the committee of nation, you must act well, say well, think well, and Nigeria will go well. Because 
because the trust was broken. But after this, we stood our ground because we knew we wanted to see a better country and make a better nation. I remember when they told us that they had found crude oil and we were going to get very rich. But guess what? <laughs> They took it to the big boys <coughs> and the big girls in Lagos and Abuja and left us to die in abject poverty. I have seen Nigeria grow. I have seen Nigeria strive to become the best. And the youth of these days, they love it so much that they want to fight for their rights. They want to get what is best for themselves. I have seen them fight so much and I believe in Nigeria. I am old now, but I believe that the youths can make a change. Drama. I believe Drama. that the youths... Drama, oh. Enough of this, your quest of Nigeria oh getting my, better. My it's child. It's not going to get any better. No, my child. In this present time and age, if you don't know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, you are not going anywhere. My child, don't say that. It's your time your now, dreams are be, valid can you imagine my friend that graduated with the first class the first oh. graduating student where is he he's living in abject poverty no. grandma leave that nigeria oh. getting better he's okay Let me come and nigeria quickly. is not getting better As my for me, i'm waiting application. for my dad to bring my visa so i can travel out of this country because i'm done close. you're I'm going done with nigeria oh. don't worry leave it let's go oh. grandma let's go out okay. fast don't worry oh. 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 <coughs> in fact, I need to put in this application before the window will close. I just pray that they accept this application. Ah. Oh, what is wrong with this network now? This network is frustrating. Ah, I don't understand. And I need to put in this application before the deadline. What is happening? Ah. God now. Finally, the application is successful. Ah, man, if I can get this job, oh, at least I will be earning like 900 to 1 million. Yes. Then with this, I can buy my dream car now. You know, I need to... Uh -huh. With this, I can buy my dream house. You understand now? Because I want to live large. I don't want to suffer. I'm not here to suffer at all. If I can get this thing and... I should be able to, you know, pay for uh, this. <sighs> if I can get it, then I'll be able to pay for the bride pie for Susie. You know, <laughs> let me even call Susie. <sighs> Susie, my baby, what's up now? Yes, so in fact, I just applied for a job now. Yes. And I believe that I'll get the job. Yes. Susie, yes, I just called to let you know. You know, I want you to pray with me. Yes. You know I'll take care of you now. You know you're my darling. Susie. Susie. Ha, house. Oh, not yet to. Yes, I should be able to get no problem. You know, just be rest assured. That one is secured. Susie. You know what? I need you to come to Lagos. Can you come to Lagos? Yes. I want you to come and join me in Lagos. All right, all right. We'll talk. Cut him. With his Nigerian's dreams. He never know what in Nigeria they do. And Nigeria never show him Pepe. He's still calling, making call, calling his girlfriend. Don't worry, Nigeria will show him Pepe later. Don't worry, it will show him Pepe. So my food, but I know it's 
I can eat, but there's no food. Ah, Oshodi <laughs> Number 10. Ororo, oh, please help me. I don't know the address. See carry you call Lagos. No tell say you go greet you. Osho di, Osho di, Osho di, Osho di, Osho di. Oyo ta estate, Oyo ta estate wa be Osho di. Ah ah. Osho di, Osho di, Osho di. What did they do for you now? They no tell you say my better be. Osho di, Osho di, Osho di. Osho di. I they try find this address. My sister. Oh, show this. Hey. Now, this money I I don't know feel it, dog. I talk with you want to talk. Oh, my ah. like this. Now, no, they ah. Now. Ah. 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 I bet you're funny. Eh? I'm a show you. Tell us, show Ah, show me. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Eh? Number 10. I think I'm going to go number 10. Eh, show you. Don't look my ball. Eh, I'm going to say you. Ah, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to show you. 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 I I shall only shall all my money my wallet. I know they see my wallet. I beg. Colo Matoni, I know they see my wallet. I beg. Eh? Found there, found there. Shall I somewhere? I got me, come along. I'm a little low. Shall I somewhere? My sister, God bless you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eh, send you a pump. Oh, my boo. I shall be and told Nicky Nimia. Oh, yeah, yeah, my lord, yeah, my lord. Oh, yeah, my tell me. About the limits, my lord, my lord, I'm bad as five by you to buy a lot of letters of way back you. A colon with you, my lord, go, my sule. So, this is the final round of the interview. I just can't wait to round this up. I just can't wait to finalize this so we can have someone resume immediately. I'm finished here. Who's the next person? Please call the next candidate. Felicia, call the next candidate, please. I don't have the old day. Good morning, gentlemen. Um, Mr. Mr. Oladele Enya. Oladele Enya. Enya Young. Well, you're very welcome. Thank Please you have your seat. Thank you very much. All right. Um, you're welcome once again. So we have gone through your 
portfolio, I've gone through your profile, and I think that um, you are the one we need for this role. Thank you very I much. I like you your, much. Um, the way you composed your CV. I like the fact that you're a first class um, graduate. Thank you very much. Um, so what's your salary expectation? Okay, uh, my salary expectation, I'm actually looking forward to like 900 to 1 million. Yes, madam, I really need this job. You know I'm a first class candidate. I'm a first class candidate. And I believe... Mr. Enya Yo. Yes, ma'am. We have a budget for this role already. And the budget for the role is 100,000 naira. Although I like the fact that you are a very sharp young man, you and much. I believe that you can do the work, but I'm very sorry we cannot do beyond 100,000 naira. So please, um, without wasting your time, please reach out to my secretary if you are interested in the job. Thank you very much, Mr. Inyaya. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. This Nigerian youth. What kind of thing is this now? This, this, uh, this Nigerian. Can you just imagine? They are just so, so greedy. They owe me. Imagine. First class candidates. No, no, no. Us no, taking in no labor market. No, imagine. No experience. Fine boy like me now. Yet you are requesting K. for 900K. I don't understand. Uh, can you because imagine? Help us in Nigeria. I don't understand. Uh, but I need to think about it too. I think I really need this job. Oh. Eh? Who knows? They may just decide to increase my salary. Half bread is better than no. I think I need to just take it. Let me just take it. At least there is hope. They can increase my salary. Yes. Ah, but let me call my baby. Oh. Ah, oh, Susu, my baby. Ah, ah. Susu, my baby. Hello, Susu. Susu. Susu, are you there? Hello, baby. Yes, baby. How are you? My dear, I'm fine. Oh. I don't like what they do for me. Oh. You go ah, Lagos, Susu. you forget me. Why I don't understand, do like this though. Now? Susu, why they do like this now? Uh, uh, you know, say I be your person now. You know, uh, say I sure die. I don't know for you. Susu. Hey, yeah? I have a good news for you. Oh, well, yeah, tell me. I just got a job. Ah, congratulations. Yes, so. Yes, so. That means you go buy my bazia, eh? Uh, uh, Susu, that one sure now. You, you sure go buy die. my lace. That one sure, I won't Susu. buy dress, too. So. You go buy for me. Susu. You know, say that one no be a problem now. I get your back now, Susu. Oh, yeah, nah, you be no my bad, person. Nah. Susu, you know what thing will happen? What thing? Just come and join me in Lagos now. You know, I've been telling Make you. Make I go this. join you for Lagos. Yes, come and join ah. me in Lagos now. Okay, I know what I'll show you. Get out. You get out, so you go take care of me. Ah. House. You know, get out. Susu, house. don't worry. I get out. You I get out. I, I know why I Just come out. But you send that money, make I go buy all my things, yeah? Suzu, Suzu. Mm. No, Wala. Okay, Suzu, now. Nah, later now, nah, my baby. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bill, I say I go sharply call this my guy. He go help me find one agent to sharply run the house. Okay, agent. How far now? I, I do. I, I was. I did gallant too. Waiting the shop. You just tell me, say, you just land. Eh, uh, you know, say, nah, recently I just entered Lagos. And not, no, so I need no, an no, apartment. No, a very no, good no, apartment. No, wala, now nah, Lagos we did. Nah, no, Lagos. wala. Okay, now. Eh, uh, just okay. check this house while they show you. It's this one. <laughs> now, Marco Code, they call you. If you want to go to toilet here, you carry the boat. Go. Yalagbaja side. That Yalagbaja side. Uh, you will be number three. They go allow you enter the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> now your budget. Okay, agent, what did they happen now? You see me fine boy like this. Do they tell me make I oh, fine, make I, I don't wait, know wait. This, you know. Fine boy, no money. Now Lagos today, forget that level. Fine I, boy, no money. I mean, fine, fine, another. Oh yeah, check another one. Might show you another one. Might show you another one. 
Man, I'll show you another. What well, well, I'll show you now? What, uh, this one now. You see the roof? You see that roof? Now your money, now your money will take you that roof. Voila. For this well, Lagos. They don't tell me, say, now 100k, you they call. Which one will be all this level now? You collect this one now, now your money will take you more. At least this one, they okay now. No, Wala, I go manager. Oh, yeah, no, Wala. I go no. manager. Any, 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 so. They okay, any. Well, I go to now. Eh, yeah. you go pay more. You will feel from too. Because yeah. they collect okay. money for for. Now, Lagos be here. You go not pay you. for that one. No, Wala, nothing. <laughs> yes, so ah, my life done better now. As I don't get house, hey, I don't get job. No be smart enough for this Lagos. Am I Suzu? They come Lagos. Oh, Hello? Hello, Mr. Enyayo. Oga landlord. Mm, Mr. Enyayo. Hey, good afternoon. Oga landlord. How far? How are you doing today, sir? I'm very fine, sir. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, sir? Mr. Enyayo, I've been asked of you for all those, all those things. They say you know day house. Where I say you go home? Yes, I know day house. Oh. Uh -huh. You know, sir, I don't get job now. Uh -huh. Mr. So Enyayo, I've, I've been, been doing meeting with other things that about the soccer way with one pack. Oh, girl, no, no, wala, no, wala. Yeah. They don't tell me now. No, wala. In a, in a, calm just down send your account number. Mr. Send Nia, your account yo, number. Calm down. I, I, never, I never even tell you the amount where you won't pay. You Mr. Nia, the amount where all of us, because it's not be 17. So all of us go gather 2,230. Ah. Uh -huh. Mr. Nia, are you there? I did hear you. I did hear you. 2,230. Now you are share for all of us. Not say not be 17. Mm -hmm. So uh, by weekend, those people go come come pack the soccer way. Oh, God, no, Lord, no, wala, no. Wala. All right, all right. No, wala. All I right. go send up. I go send up. Okay. Morning yeah. day, I go send up. All right. Yeah. A few days later. Hello. Hello, Mister Enyayo. Oh, God, Lord. Ah. You they call me. I don't pay my money. Oh. What's it happen now? Eh, uh, you know, say na, na my wife na they receive a lot. Me, I know me, all this phone, me know that stand down where we, but I go ask some. Eh, uh -huh. but apart from that one now, I'm not saying I call you for Mr. Nyayon. Okay, Lord, I hear you. Eh, uh -huh. I beg, we won't come back the soccer way tomorrow. Uh, okay, Lord, I don't tell you, I don't pay my money. Eh, uh, uh, eh, you know. Back, um, the problem be say, I don't know how you go help us drop the key because you see that small carpet for your parlor. Now you go help us help us raise. What we go pack? The soccer we finish. What we don't pack? We go help you cover him. Oh, girl, Lord. Eh? I know you. What do you talk? No, no. no. What do you talk? No, no. I say now nah, your parlor we won't pack him. Just now, nah, just small so nah, You see hey, that carpet? Oh. Hey. Oh, girl, Lord. Are that? you trying to tell me that my apartment was built? On a sewage uh, tank? Uh, uh, Mr. Nia, you ha! Hey, Mr. Oh, God, landlord, you know they fear God. Mr. Nia, I don't suffer. Hey, Nia, you don't suffer for this Lagos, so. Uh, ah. uh, you see, life, it gets as, as it be sometimes. Sure, you understand. But as it can't be like this, you got stick like that. Now, just small minutes, we don't pack everything finished, Mr. Nia. So, I don't know if you go there and or you go help us drop the key. I go call my wife, me come meet you tomorrow. You go pack them tomorrow when those people don't come. Thank you, Mr. Nyayo. Have a great day. Ah, no, Allah. No, Allah. Ha, 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 ha. Nyayo is getting to know the real Lagos. His job, 100,000. Oh, God. After His house. Indeed, the Nigerian uh, dream. I bet made these boys come. Oh, my dear. How you uh, be? How you doing? I did, Jerry. I hope say today you no go come there. Young separate, separate. Today, Jerry. Just now, just I don't 
Don't forget me now. Why not go forget you now? Don't be so. Don't be so. We do friendship. Ah, come on. Oh, you say me you come today. This way you get sweat under AC. Why you don't tire me? Why you go understand? This Lagos, eh? He don't tire me. I not just understand. Tell me, tell me. Things are just too expensive. The cost of living, eh? Accommodation, feeding, fuel, everything is just on the high side. It's just too much for me to bear. The funnest part, do you know that my babe, Suzu? Mm -hmm. This girl, eh, she won't kill me. Ah. She just they beat me up and down. I don't tire. If they work now. I don't want this girl. Ah. Ah. The job self, I don't even know. The money, I don't even know how the thing they go. He get, even he get one baba where I could give you. He get updates. And if it's a bit drunk, Yeah, you know they talk this now kind of thing, give um, Which kind of update you want? Soap and sacrifice, no go kill anybody. If it's a bit drunk. Guy, come out there. You think this is what they talk? Yeah, I don't tell you, men no big man this kind of the why they why they scatter this. Guy, no they no they scatter update I beg, leave him. Guy, which one are they talk now? You know, see this guy now, George guy now. Which kind George? Now, George guy, they tell him about Juju. Guy, guy, see, guy, see. Guy, see, might take something, might take something. I don't hear you. I don't see be George boy. You get all this Juju stuff. No, be for you. I don't see. They even do that kind. I don't see you don't suffer. I don't see you don't suffer. See, I see they sweat. Where your first class land you. I get, I, I get one update for you. I get one update for you. You get one prayer as why they go. They receive vision for there. They receive vision for there. This is your future. This is your future where we know they show off. They receive. They feel you waiting. If you this just guy, call my Jesus. You should say nah. Call my thing. Leave this one. Call my house. Nah, pray out. Shall go to life. I will follow you now. See, you know, say so they tell them. When you first class, end them like this. Shall I first class he get? I beg, man, leave him like that. I, I feel they could employ him like this, so I feel employ him. But it's fine. Guy, I want me you show me. This place where they go. No disgrace me, you. You don't tell me. Say no, disgrace me you. You no disgrace me, you. No disgrace. No make me regret why I carry you come here. Oh. Guy, I don't want you. No disgrace me. Yeah, wait, wait. Now. wait. Yeah, yeah, no. Show your mind. <laughs> Are you serious? Pray house. Now pray your house. house. Now pray your house. Now pray your house. Now pray your house. No, while I'm more they go. You taba with fuck on the bong bong. You taba with fuck on the bong bong. I go make you so loud, my papa is in jade. Calm down now, nah. calm God, down. Calm down now. Nah. Master! Guy, yeah, you go make me. This no vest me now, no vest, no report. Guy, do. Be a man, be a man. Be a man, be a man. Guy, be a man, guy, be a man. I'm not a bad boy. Come here, come here. Guy, oh, vest you. Come here. Come here, you! Come here, you! My son, whenever you hear someone call your name, don't answer. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus! Wait, wait. Um, hey. That name will just go. If you call her. Bam, bam, tell me, bam, bam, tell me. Shake it up, bam, bam, bam. Shake it up, Jesus. I know you are the low. It means me. I'm on the bolo wa. What I say? Su 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 su. Eh, fine girl. Forget you. They fall my hand. No, you you depend on that village boy. That bro. See see what thing you wear. Boo boo. You know they see me. You, you get friend will be fashion designer. See what thing you they wear. You see, they don't understand the girlfriend. No, they for our Anna. They could come and say, Percy, where they love, they need their advertiser. Abby? I don't hear, go tell my baby. Who would that baby? I don't say, I don't want to hear him name. I don't want to hear that baby. I, I love him now. Love what? For this Lagos? Okay, now. Mm. Susu, I don't understand. I did tell you so many times. I get all this fine bobo. No. Fine bobo day. No now, don't go, I do follow. No eh? Which car will you see me with last week? Who be this one? 
I beg no, they go, Jerry. Now, wow. Susu. What? Uh, what? What? Susu. What? Don't touch me. Thank God. I was almost used for you, Susu. So? Uh, what is my business? Susu, you know I'm doing the discussion. I don't care. You this you know useless you man. You useless you man. Know. See you. Susu, no money. Fine boy with nothing. See as you look like. You bring me Lagos. You Susu. bring me Lagos. You know, bye bye. See my hair. Susu. No names. You know, give me shoe. You know, give me a serious night. Yeah, a useless person. Susu, you know I you love you. Which love? Ah, please, Susu. If, if Susu. you touch me, I go slap oh, you. Leave me alone. Susu, if you go. touch me, I go please, slap you. Leave me. Susu, don't go now. Why I should not go. I go go. You know, let me even tell you something. Remember the shirt now. Now, Ima, the landlord saw me, I go use. He might the landlord son. Where he might the landlord son himself. Now he might go use. Now he go take care of me. Now he go give me money. Now he go buy me shoe. You, you are useless. You are useless. Poverty. Where my Ima? Ima. I see my Ima. Ima, my love. Ima, my baby. Ima, my sugar daddy. I've told you not to. All these four point five. Not be that boy. Fine boy without money. See, baby. See, oh he's my. Go, Ibo. Me. Go, Ibo. Leave, my, leave, leave my ego, Ibo. Baby, baby, let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah. I think his friends don't inspire. We go send down today. Now, wait till you go. Send can, can you those back? We go send down today. Come on. 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 Get out. Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We know they talk too much. My ego, Ibo. My ego, Ibo. My ego, Ibo. I'm a nature. Yes, my baby. sugar papa. Yes, my baby. dear. Yes. I go paint you white. That black way, David, your face, you go come out. Australia visa. My Austria. Nigeria dean. 
has been shattered. No, 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 don't no worry. I, I need to, I give you, I I give need you to leave this country. I'm tired. I give you Just give me anyone. Just, just give me anyone. I, I give you yes. Austria, Austria, Just Austria. give me anyone. I'm okay. I, know, bro, I, know, I will call you. You've been here for a while. Uh, I've been noticing you. What are you? What are you here for? I I've been here since 6 a.m. Oh. So what's the And issue? my interview is for 8 a.m. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't me, know what is happening. I've been here since. That's not an issue. Let me take it. They've caught so many people let and me, I'm still here. Sir, you're talking this too is much. 3 p.m. Huh. What flight were you booked for? Um, I don't just know. The man just gave me one document. That so you don't you don't Australia. know where you're going to? I think it's Australia. I think it's Austria. Austria. Think Sir, this is Australia now. What are you talking about? Don't waste my time, Joe. Uh-uh. Uh, okay. Can you imagine? Uh, what happened now? Hey, hey. This is how they behave. Ah, uh, uh, which kind of be this? Ah, what is Joe now? I don't miss my interview with that. Oh, hey. What can I do now? Hey. This is serious. Uh, what happened now? Australia, Austria. Uh, hey, 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 hey. And I sold my father's land to buy this ticket. To what will I do? Uh, I know I need to leave this Nigeria. I need to leave this country. I can't stay here anymore. What can I do now? How do I go about this? What will I do now? How do I, how do I solve this issue? How do I resolve this situation? I don't know. Maybe if I, I call Alaji, maybe Alaji can do something about it. Panzelima, Panraska. Emil. What's happening? Hey. Hey. Emil Banso. Hey. How do I get another money to take another visa now? How do I procure another visa? Hey. Young man. I see from the realm of the spirits. <gasps> now your papa, they do you. I beg, come out. Shift. I see now your Talk. papa, they do you. I, I go wound you. You know, even Stevie Sean say, I go America, you they tell me nonsense. See, make I tell you. My papa don't die. Your papa don't die. My mama don't die. Mm, 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 mm. A mistake, now your mama, they do you. Now your mama. Come on here. Shit. Now your mama, they do you. Shit. That soup where she cooked for years, they My maybe. mama don't die. Make I tell you. You they lie. You don't even see vision. Make I go America. Or make I go Canada. You won't go and talk rubbish. Senior man, no, I mean, no, no vex for me, I beg. I be a gentleman, I beg. No vex, I beg. Wait till me. Now my work. This one, now also by day. Now also by day, be my prophet. Now you be prophet. Also by night, I be not like this, I beg. Uh -huh. No vex. You be agent like this. I be agent, no vex. No look for that do. one. Now, why no look what I do just See, now. No worry. I, I didn't be like this. Come on, this country. I don't even understand. Which country you want to well, go? Make I tell you, I know game on you. Why you don't go game? Where I you want to go? You, you want to go? What if you have from me to say, if you don't do, I'm finished. Mm. Uh -huh. If I can't reach there, you're going to pay me. Uh -huh. Overseas pay payments. You. I know game on you. I know they do that one. Both one small small. But what if you can't have from me to say, 
I can assure you, I can do an undertaking for you. Okay. Uh, if I reach there, I will pay you. Which country go like go first? My eh, first no the country. Now country go determine where you dey. How much? I won't go. Any, any country. Hong Kong. I'm no. tired of this Hong country. Hong, you go go Hong Kong. No wala. Kong, she, nah, no wala. You go no go Hong Kong. No wala. You go go Hong Kong. Go Hong Kong, Hong Kong now two points, two point five. But I don't tell you, I say I don't get money. And you won't you go, agree? You won't go Hong Kong. You agree? You won't go Hong Kong. I go send them now. I don't tell you. I go send them. If you do, if you feel do them. Now because you accept me, now because you accept me, you. I go see your mama don't die. Don't die. I go see your mama don't die. What could I do? You won't spoil them for me. I don't say you won't spoil. No worry, more they go. I go help you run and more they go. No wala. No worry. A few months later. And Nyo gets to the airport after receiving his visa. Unfortunately, when he tries to depart Nigeria to Hong Kong for his Jaguar dream, <sighs> locust beans hey. couldn't let him go. Hey. He couldn't let him go. So here he is, hey. Jaguar zero. Like Nigerian say, dream, zero. He's on his way to Third Milan Bridge to kill himself. Can you he find help? Can you he find God again? He's crying. He's lamenting. He's sorry that his life is this way. Oh. Be like say, my village people, they do me. Huh. I don't just understand. Come on, Iru. Locust beef. Locust beans, they can't they call them exhibit. Hey, voila. Voila. Ah, so now so I'm not going to go Hong Kong again like this. Ah, I don't enter that move. What did I go do? Ah. 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 I think I should just end it all. Who is this? Brother I Eni. can't take this anymore. Brother Eni, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Any fire? My brother, my brother. Any fire? I don't just understand. I don't is this understand not what is happening to my life. From uh, campus days. Uh, uh, Any? Uh, uh, something. What's wrong with you? This? My brother, see, I'm tired though. What's what happening to you? Why are you looking like this? I've tried everything. But it's not just working. My brother, I don't know what else to do. I think I should just go and commit suicide. No, 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 me, talk to me, talk to me. Just talk to me. And My girlfriend just left me. Oh, your girlfriend. Leave this country, but I'm denied this song. Your girlfriend. Yeah. You didn't tell me you had a girlfriend. I don't just know. I don't know if it's a result of our cohabitation. Cohabitation. Brother Eni. Oh, you know that is a no no. You taught us all of these things in fellowship. What has gone wrong with you? Brother Henny. Brother Henny. Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. If you can just turn back to God, I believe He can arrange your life. I believe you can arrange your life. Now you are having suicidal thoughts. Don't let the devil get at you. Shake it off and come again unto Jesus. Rededicate your life to Jesus and let him change your story. Let him change your story. Please come back to him. Please come back. Come back to Jesus. Can you say after me? Lord Jesus. Forgive this and renew my sins. I want to return to you. Please arrange my life for the better. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' mighty name. 
maybe some of you are here today and your dream for a better Jesus, life has been shattered. Jesus you don't know what is happening me. all around you. You Jesus, were vibrant for Jesus, Jesus but suddenly everything me. seemed to have gone down the drain. Jesus, it may have backslidden and things may not be working me. as they are supposed to work. But you Jesus is offering you another you chance today. No he said, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me and you will find rest for your soul. He said, my body is easy and my yoke is light. He loves you. He doesn't want you to suffer in vain. He doesn't want you to go dejected. He gave himself so that you can live a life of peace and prosperity as all eyes get closed this morning and all heads bowed you want to rededicate your life to jesus you think you have lost it but i tell you this morning there is hope for a tree if it be cut down that at the scent of water it is proud again you want to give your life to jesus you want jesus to arrange your life you want to come back to him because you think you have been lost. This is your moment. All eyes closed and all heads bowed. If you are making a decision for Jesus this morning, can you please rise on your feet? Can you please rise to your feet? And we are going to pray with you. We will pray with you specially. And we believe that Jesus has saved our souls. We save your soul. If you are that honest person in this house today, please rise to your feet. Let us pray with you. All eyes closed. God bless you. You are making a decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Please rise to your feet this morning. And we will pray with you. Your sins will be forgiven and your life will turn a new leaf. Is there anybody that is wishing for a total turnaround this morning? Anybody wishing for a total turnaround this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At this point, we are going to be praying for our nation, Nigeria, and for the youths in the house. We are going to be trusting God to renew our strength so that we can mount up with wings as the eagle, so that we can run and not be weary so that we can walk and not faint. And I want you to come readily prepared before the Lord this morning because he's going to change our story and he's going to turn our story around in the mighty name of Jesus. At this point, I want to welcome our dear mommy in the Lord, the wife of the Zona pastor, Pastor Mrs. Aino Brahimo, to lead us in this moment of prayer. the name of the Lord. I want to appreciate the young and youth, adults fellowship. I want to thank God for the privilege. My pastor, I want to thank you. And my pastor's wife is my mommy. I want to thank you, ma, for this great opportunity. To my assignments this morning, thank God for my pastor. The same scripture he read Psalm 122, verse 1 to 9. But I'm not going to read it. I will just take the verse 6. And the verse 6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is our Nigeria. So pray for the peace of Nigeria. May they prosper who love you. So I want us to be on our feet this morning. Let's be on our feet. And I want us to appreciate God. Let's thank God for what God is doing in our nation, Nigeria. Let's thank him for what he has done. Let's thank him for all he's currently doing. Honestly, I want to tell you that God is doing something. 
God is doing great and mighty things in this nation, Nigeria. Go ahead and say thank him, Lord. And thank him for what he's still going to do. He's going to do mighty things. He's going to do marvelous things. He's going to do things that our eyes will see and hear, we hear it. Go ahead and say thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, for what you have done for Nigeria. Daddy, we say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want us to ask for mercy over Nigeria. As you are standing, you are Nigeria. Let me quickly share this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have a family friend. Though they have three girls. One was born in Canada. And the second one was born in Dublin. And when he got to the third one, and the day the man would travel, he wanted to go and have the girl in America. And when he got to the airport, he has already entered inside the aircraft. And they just came to her and said, they can't just carry her. That the way they are looking at her, she's so fragile that maybe she would deliver inside the aircraft. They can't carry her. And that's where she ended up having the... So I named the girl. I used to call her Nigeria. So each time I call her Nigeria, the parents will laugh. We are all Nigerian. Are you getting me? When we say Nigeria, we are Nigeria. So I want us to ask for mercy over Nigeria this morning and say, Father, by your mercy, cancel every causes and words spoken by anyone and by us too. We can see during the drama, the lady was insisting that nothing can come out of Nigeria. But I have a good news with you. By mercy, Lord, cancel every causes, every word spoken concerning our nation, Nigeria, that is affecting us negatively. Father, cancel it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, cancel it this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you will cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray for Nigeria. That the Lord will deliver us from the hands of the evil leaders. And from our own hands. Because so many things, we too, we are, we are adding to it. Honestly, I used to tell people. It is not in Umbu that park on the main road because he wanted to buy fruit. And other cars are only at your back. And because he wanted to buy that fruit, he did not bother. It is not in Umbu. It is not in Umbu that brought his own just to the door of your house. It is not. It is we. Because you don't have, you are not paying, you don't have a dustbin. And you will pack it when you are going early in the morning. Just drop it in another person's gate. Have you not experienced it before? I've experienced it. And I went to the front of my gate. And I begin to plead the blood of Jesus. As many that is carrying those being that is carrying ratchets. And you wanted to drop it. Because you don't pay for Loma. Because you don't pay. It's not Sinumbu. We are the one. We're going to pray and say, Father, please deliver deliver our nation Nigeria from leaders and from any one of us working against the good of this land father deliver us in the name of Jesus Lord deliver us this morning from their hands in the name of Jesus anyone that did not want Nigeria to progress father we ask my Lord and my God free us from their hands deliver us Lord in the name of Jesus if we are the one, Father, deliver Nigeria from us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, God has to visit our nation, Nigeria. We need a miracle. That's what we need in this nation. I remember the last time I traveled, I fought with my friend. Because when they are talking about Nigeria, it's always... My husband will say, yeah, me. Ah, ah. is that what you want? I say, my, 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 mm -mm. I will not allow them. Because by the time they are coming back, they will meet us in the same place. In the name of Jesus. We will have come so far. Nigeria will not be the same thing. So we need a miracle. 
and the Lord will do that miracle this morning. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray and say, Father, visit our nation, Nigeria, especially this morning, and give us a special miracle. In the name of Jesus, we need a special miracle in this nation. Father, visit us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray and say, Father, make a way for our nation to become very great. Make a way for our nation, Nigeria, to become very great. Go ahead and say, Father, make a way for our nation, Nigeria, to become very great. In the name of Jesus, in the eyes of those that believe, that says Nigeria will not be great, Father, make a way. In the name of Jesus, Father, make a way. Put them to shame. Let Nigeria become a exceedingly great, a exceedingly great nation. In the name of Jesus, Father, make a way. Make a way in the morning. Make a way in the afternoon. Make a way in the evening. So that Nigeria can become great. A exceedingly great. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray and say, Father, Nigeria has beautiful blessings. Honestly, this nation is a blessed God. It's a blessed God. Because there is nothing that your hands finds to do that will not prosper in this nation. So you are going to pray and say, Father, please pour down your blessing upon Nigeria. Let Nigeria be fruitful again. Let Nigeria be multiplied. Let Nigeria increase in the name of Jesus. This is our cry this morning. Father, help us now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Nigeria will be fruitful. Nigeria will be great. We are going to pray for each and every one of us and all our youth that the Lord will raise them. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray and say, Father, please raise great and righteous people to lead Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, raise them. Raise them from all our youth. Father, raise them from our men. Raise them from all our women. Righteous people that can lead us. Father, raise them, Lord. Those ones that can do is we. Father, that is what we need. Those ones that have compassion. Father, raise them among us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying quickly. I used to tell my husband, Kosogun Dilemo, Ogun Nigeria Loa. Let us not deceive ourselves. Nobody is doing that guy. Nobody. Nobody. There is no generational causes. It is Nigerian generational causes. Every one of us, we are facing it. If you say you are not buying pepper, maybe you are buying fuel. If you say you are not buying fuel, you are buying diesel. If you say you are not, you are paying house rent. The way they are increasing pepper, that's where they are increasing house rent now. So there is no generational causes. Brethren, we are going to pray and say, Father, please put an end to every form of evil in our nation. Let peace reign more than ever before. In the name of Jesus, let an end come to this battle. Let it come to this generational causes. In the name of Jesus, let an end come to it. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And lastly, we are going to pray and say, Father, let there be a re great revival in this nation. Great revival that many of us will experience it so that our testimony can come. Go ahead and say, Father, let there be a great revival in this nation. In the name of Jesus, a great revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be for this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for great revival. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And lastly, you are going to pray and say, Father, let Nigeria experience new glory. New glory. 
new peace, new joy, new salvation. We will dedicate Nigeria back to God this morning. Let Nigeria begin to experience new glory, new blessing, new joy, new lifting, new promotions, new abundance. Let Nigeria begin to experience it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Our Father and our God, we want to say thank you. We want to thank you for our nation, Nigeria. Thank you for great and mighty things that you are doing. We can see your hands. We can see you, Lord. You are the center of Nigeria. Daddy, we say thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we know that a day will come and we will be singing that Nigeria is great. Nigeria is blessed. Nigeria is increased. Nigeria multiply. Nigeria will be a nation that none of us will be rushing to Jaffa in the name of Jesus. None of us will be saying, if I don't leave Nigeria, it will not be better for me. That will not be our portion. In the name of Jesus, new glory for Nigeria. New blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, that is what we cry for. And we say thank you because we will receive it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please let's have our seat. It's time to give our offering, our tithes. Media, please, can you help us project the account numbers? Just like me, I do transfer. The Gen Z, right? Praise the Lord. So if you are here, if you have given your tithes during the week, Please be upstanding. If you are giving it now, please be upstanding so that we can pray with you. If you have also given your willing heart offering, that is the 5% after you have given your tithe, please be on your feet so that we can pray with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your children that have obeyed your word. Thank you, O God, because they are covenant that are attached to obeying your word. You said you open the windows of blessings upon them. You said they will never lack any good thing. Father, O God, we decree and we declare over, over these titles and the givers, O God, we pray that it shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. We pray, O God, that we hear the good of the land in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that their businesses, their works are blessed in the name of Jesus. You will lift them above only in the name of Jesus. They will never lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. We decree upon their life, O God, that blessings will follow them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Also, if you have your offering, while the offering is going on, ushers, we are going to be... People that have given their tithe, you can bring the, the basket here so that we can pray on it. Because as we are doing now, the MC needs to be going on. Praise the Lord. MC News, please get ready. watching the Maranatha Church News. We thank God say we feel they give up our presence. And we take happy when we let wake up when I come to church today. This is Maranatha Church News. My name is Blessing Basi. Look at first year, the top for me. Evangelism for we back here. Youth worker to Rock City. Woman them hang out. Now, look with some of Happy well, we'll say you feel join us for worship and what today. Our church now, one big family. We stand giddy here and we do welcome everybody. Yes, we did happy say you fit worship with us today. 
We go like make you join this Obunje family. Make you the show our church meetings. So we feel grow and know God well well. As you come today, face show your shoes shine. Time don't reach. Where everybody they work out together. And the neighborhood evangelism for us go happen. The time now on equal swings. Date now October. Time now four p. Number three. This is why I show you turn close behind church. Come follow us. Make our area better for Christ. Make you now watch this video with. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be See is on evil wing. We did on this way. <laughs> Are ready for better work out. You talk possibilities. They go away for Kota for good state to go see Rock City. Date now November 2nd, 2024. Registration not just chicken in money. Movements now seven sharp. No time to waste time. Oh. No music enjoyment. It goes with you well. Well, if you know claim, you feel ask any of the ex schools. Ah, fine, mama, them, them. The women of a purposeful purpose and girls don't show again, no. Time don't reach to relax and jollificate. Join body for one better day of bonding, jesting, playing games, and even self. They could follow talk about Christ, no. Date, na Saturday, no. 9, 2024. Venue, na Lekki Conservation Center, movement, na 8 a.m. Fee, na just 10,000 naira per person. Dress code, if na pink, you get, to. A yellow, even with that white top you get, you feel knacker with better jeans and sneakers. Nobody go carry last door. Anything where you feel see no claim, you feel ask the women leaders, I beg you, I beg you, no big picking come out now for only. They sing your praise, show yourself, oh, oh, oh. For I know, for I know, what we got is the journey. For I know, for I know, what we got is the journey. Listen, there's no pain on some old logo. Whoever would they would them. There's no pain on some old logo. Whoever would they would them. Never shape our mother, no doubt. I want to be Jesus. Sit down, no go anywhere. Make we hear you story of what they happen for our church every week with the comeback.
Nigeria will come back home. God don't show us in plenty love again, oh. Baba don't bless us with another bomb boy for them brother and sister Oguba family on Wednesday, October 9, 2024. We thank God, oh, and we pray, say, una joy, no go sour. Amen. If you know, say, God don't do a bonga bokuti for you, no de shame, oh. Good thing, everybody. What thing God don't do? You first call for us, call Tokam, or write and put for internet. Now the link, they on a screen, so. You're terrific those person and bless them too. All of us, go get better testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. No forget, if you know, say, you know the town, or you know get chance for join us for church, no worry. You still feel join us online anywhere where you day, even if for Niger, or for Bodo Ibo, even if for Talking Chan, or anywhere where you day. It goes sweet us well, well. If you follow us, talk, enter with social medium and like, share, and even make sure say you chuckle them out for all our social media pages where they show for the screen. We're small, no go anywhere. No forget say. To say invitation card to come church, I beg. They try to check the WhatsApp church group. I mean, if you follow any person, where the publicity team talk for the link where you fit invite person come church. May God bless you well, well, oh. As you throw your hand, reach others and ginger them to come follow us. Worship God. Now, here the story go end today. From my other church news, my name now, Blessing Bassi. We're going to miss you again, you are back. Make sure see, you carry your fine face, come church again. God, God bless you. Now do well. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to appreciate Almighty God for the youth service this morning. Let's pray together for our youth. Amen. The Lord will continue to increase you more and more in the name of Jesus. We're about bringing the service to a close. But before we close, we are going to, by third Sunday of the month, we shall take our CSR offering. So the choir, I mean, the ushers are going to pass the basket around for the CSR. is to help, help us in the CSR activities of the church. So please, as the basket is going around, before we close, let's listen to the few more announcements that we come up. By the special grace of God, come on Saturday, 26th, we'll be having our second edition of the Neighborhood Evangelism Outreach. Neighborhood Evangelism Outreach is a monthly outreach that is part of our vision 20, 2032 to get our neighbors, people that are close to us around here, to be part of what God is doing for us here. And so the Program of building is returned by the back of the church on Saturday, and the time is 4 p.m. We encourage as many of us, it's, it's a program for the whole church. Let's be part of what God is doing, and the Lord will take our neighborhood for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Fruitful families will be meeting immediately after the service, and I was told that you meet in the front of the altar here. The Lord will bless you as you do so in the name of jesus the youth are reminded of their hangout on the 2nd of november 2024 so please youth be reminded of your hangout the lord will bless you in jesus name couples dinner is coming up next month i've just gotten a report this morning that many of the men are not taking up the cards and so for the reason why the card is being we have been asked to get the card ahead is for proper planning and so if the card is not taken up on time it's going to affect the planning of the committee and so please husband men in the house go and get your card can i hear an amen can i hear an amen youths are having hangout women are having hangout men did not have hangout because of the couple's dinner and so if you don't have card again that means you are saying that Men are not going to have their hangout. You know our hangout, we are not selfish. We are bringing our wife also to come and hang out with us at the dinner. So I encourage men, please pick your ticket for the hangout. 
don't be surprised by next week if I stand at the door and ask you, have you bought your ticket? And if you said no, uh -huh. I won't send you back up, but I may give you some assignment to do. If you didn't buy. So buy your ticket so that they can plan properly. The Lord will bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Please put your hands together for the committee of the couples dinner. They are doing wonderfully well. And as you know, this year is not, we are taking it to country club in Ikeja. Very good environment, serene, lovely for couples to enjoy themselves. So please take the card and the Lord will bless you as you do so. And so I want to welcome those that fellowship with us for the first time. If today is your first Sunday in Maranatha Church, can you please rise on your feet so that we can welcome you specially. Today is your first Sunday in Maranatha Church. Please rise up. We want to welcome you. We want to celebrate you. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. Please come with your bag. Come with your phone. Come with your Bible. Please come. Come, my brother. Please come. Come with your bag. Come with your food. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Let's celebrate them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You are welcome. God bless you, my sisters. God bless you. You are welcome in my other church. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You are 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 welcome. We love you. Amen. Welcome to Maranatha Church. Welcome to Maranatha Church. Amen. My lovely brothers and sisters, you are welcome to the place of God's glory. Maranatha Church. We are glad to have you in our midst this morning and we believe that you are prayer, you are answer to our prayers that we always want people to come and enjoy what God is doing for us here. Once again on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Shola, I welcome you mightily to Maranatha Church. I'm very sure you have enjoyed this service here this morning. I can tell you that's how God moves anytime we gather here in this church. And my prayer that as you are going, you are not going empty-handed. The Lord will bless you more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because we have visited us for the first time, we always like to tell you more about the church, which you cannot do on the altar here. We tell you more about the church. If there's any questions you want to ask about our services or things that you want to know about the Bible or the church, you can free to ask those people that will be attending to you. And we pray that the Lord Almighty will bless you mightily, even for coming to Maranatha Church today in the mighty name of Jesus. So I kindly request you to please go with my sister, lifting up welcome banner there. Please, I want you to go with her. She will talk to a place where they are going to receive you more. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sister. Please, let's celebrate them for coming. God bless you, sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. Let's celebrate them. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Shall we all rise on our feet? Let's rise on our feet. It's been a wonderful time in the presence of God. Let's rise on our feet. Father, we want to thank you once again for the reason we have gathered to fellowship this morning. Thank you for the joy of fellowship in the house. We lift up our offering that has been collected here this morning, both the love offering and the CSR offering. They are lifted to you, and Lord, I'm saying that you bless the offerings in the name of Jesus. For every hand that those offerings has come out for, Father, I pray that you bless those hands in the name of Jesus. Those hands, I pray in the name of Jesus, will not encounter devourers in the name of Jesus. Those hands, they will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Those hands will bring forth great, mighty things in the name of Jesus. I ask by reason of this offering, my Father, my God, increase your children mightily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Lord, we are asking as your children go today, Father, please go with them. Bless all their ways in this new week. Order the steps of your children are right in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you face this week, you find favor with God and favor with men in the name of Jesus. Your little effort will bring great reward in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, wherever you go, you'll be honored, you'll be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Your eyes will see evil, great things in the name of Jesus. Those eyes will not see evil in the name of Jesus. Your hair will not hear bad news in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's take our confession as we close this morning. Let's take our confession. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we go? One, two, go. I carry the pledge of God. I am light. I will shine bright. I will command. It shall be done. I will rule and will reign. I will dominate and will prevail. I will be the head and not the tail. I will be above only and not beneath. I will move from base to height. I will sit among princes. I will inherit the throne of glory. I will sit in the seat of honor. I will be lifted in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Let's take our hand to him. shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Have a very wonderful week. God bless you.